What is going on everybody? My name is Mitch and welcome to the channel. We'll be going over a couple series of videos on how to make a webcomic even when you have no art experience. Um, I'm still learning myself, um, but I still wanted to make comics. So I've learned a lot of things um, and I'm going to be passing on that uh, wisdom with you guys. In this first uh, video, we're going to be moving uh, via Aroid models over into Blender and then moving the uh, exported Blender files into Clip Studio Modeler, which then you can open up in Clip Studio Paint. Now, it might seem like a lot of steps, but I assure you it's well worth it because there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this, and I'll show you at the end of the video. All right, so we're here in Vroid Studio. Uh, I'm not going to go through how to change and customize everything for your characters. Um, that might be in another video. Um, but if you haven't heard of this tool, it's a pretty cool avatar, anime-esque avatar uh, creation tool. Um, I came upon it actually when I was doing some game dev stuff uh, and thought I could translate it to drawing, actually. Um, I would highly recommend uh, checking it out. It's free. Um, really, the only paid product in this video is going to be Clip Studio Pro. Um, and if you are looking into making web comics, I would highly recommend it. Uh, it's, I think it's only $50, um, and they usually have a lot of sales going on. So you're going to go ahead and export her. You're going to go ahead and export this guy. Um, make sure that's checked. I'm, I haven't really messed with it too much um, to know if it affects it at all. Uh, so we're going to call it test avatar. Uh, and you can fill out all this information if you like. Uh, it's usually for mostly when you're posting it. Uh, we'll save it to a spot that is most convenient for us. Just name it test avatar. All right, and it's exported. So now we're going to go to Blender. Um, so this is a free to use program for 3D modeling. Uh, I'm still quite new to it. I'm more used to Maya. Uh, that's what I've used in the past, but I thought I would give Blender a try uh, and I saw you can do a lot of cool stuff. Um, so you're gonna wanna make sure to get the 2.79 version. I think they're currently on 2.8. Uh, this plugin only works with 2.79. Um, so once you have 2.79 installed, you're gonna load it in a screen. Uh, if you're new to Blender, you can just remove the cube uh, by right clicking it. Uh, press delete and what we're going to do is we're going to have to add a plugin um, so you're going to have to go to this web page here um, i'll leave a link in the description below and you're going to download uh, that zip um, from the github page so then you're going to go to user preferences then you're going to go to add-ons and then you're going to see um, pretty much a whole bunch of add-ons again i'm still kind of new to blender um, so i'll kind of be looking around on how to do this I'm about to import your own, you got to do install add-on from file. <clears throat> so you pretty much just find where you saved it. Um, let's see here. I think I saved mine. C drive here. There we go. Um, so basically, I already have it installed, um, but basically you just click it install add-on from file. Uh, so once you have that, I think we can go and do it. I don't think it'll mess it up or anything. You're gonna go to testing here, um, cause this isn't like an official one or one through the community as far as I know. Um, and then basically you're just gonna make sure that's clicked. It, it'll probably be not checked on start. And then save user settings. We got that all set. All right, so then we have our scene again, file import, and then we have this VRM option that previously wasn't there before if you were messing around with it. So go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna go and find um, our model that we just exported as well. So test avatar VRM right here. Take a couple seconds here. All right, and there it is. You can scroll in with the uh, mouse wheel. Uh, you can move around with it by clicking it down. Uh, again, I'm not still not used to Blender. Um, I'll probably be messing around. Um, on how to add stuff because I'm sure you can be able to do it um, later in the process. Uh, if that's not what the avatar looks like, obviously, um, you can switch it over to rendered and that looks a little bit more like what we had originally. 
All right, um, so we're not gonna mess with it too much. Again, you can add other stuff to it um, in Blender um, to help you in your drawing. Um, for now, we're just going to be um, getting the model and then exporting it to a VBX file. Um, so pretty much export.vbx. And we're just gonna go ahead and save it in the same spot. We're just gonna call it test. And we'll export FBX. All right. Um, so yeah, again, I'm probably going to be looking into Blender um, to see if we'll, what more stuff I can do. Um, but as of now, um, I'm still pretty new with it. If you are familiar with Vroid and you made custom clothing um, and then import it or, or importing it into this, uh, you may run into some issues where you'll see. Um, kind of like if you ever like erase any parts of your clothing to kind of um, make it so you it looks like something else um, y y it may show up as invisible in here and I still haven't figured out how to get around that uh, but I'm f I think it's something to do with in the material um, basically you're gonna have to erase the material because it'll show up in the material and so basically you're gonna have to erase that um, that'll probably be a video for another day because I still have to figure that out um, I kind of there really aren't many too many YouTube videos on how to do exactly this. Um, so that's kind of why I made this in the first place. So now we're going to a modeler, um, Clip Studio Modeler. Uh, if you only have Clip Studio Paint, um, you may have to download this. Uh, you have to make sure you have Clip Studio, uh, just the program, and then the, it's like a launcher. Um, and then you can get the modeler installed from there. If you already have Clip Studio Paint, um, you already have modeler since it is a free program. Um, so it may show up. Um, as a blank, uh, it may show up as a different one, so you always want to make sure new because um, it might show up as the 2D one um, or object, I believe it's called. So we want the 3D character instead. So we've got 3D character. So then you can, I think you can drag and drop. Um, well, first you have to go over to the character because this is the sketch. Uh, again, not too familiar with Modeler, um, but I'm guessing you can import a sketch and then you can kind of model based off that. There's a lot of stuff you can do like that. Uh, with other 3D modeling programs. Um, but anyway, you gotta make sure click body and then you can kind of drag and drop or you can press this button, add file right here. So we're gonna go ahead and bring it over here um, and then we'll go find that exported FBX file right there and open. So now it looks good. Um, the hair is a little different. Uh, the materials are really, I've had a lot of issues with the materials um, and not every time this works. Um, so it's kind of hit or miss so far. Um, and I'll try to be making another video or answer any questions in the comments on how to kind of fix any issues that I know how to fix. Um, a lot of them, some of them were, it'll just look like a gray glob pretty much. Um, and then you can kind of just change that by changing the shaders. Um, I believe I haven't done this in a while. Yeah, show shadows. So, uh, which one was it? It's something with the shaders. Yeah, yeah you kind of just have to mess around with it. Um, and then lighting I know is another big one um, that you kind of want to turn on and off again, just to kind of see uh, what it does. Um, so this is just, again, a basic import. Um, so we have this model. So now we have to rig it as a character. So if you go down here in the bottom right, uh, use as a complete character. So we have to check mark that, and then we got these bones down right here. Let's go ahead and click that. Yes. And then it's going to go ahead and take us through kind of like a step by step to make sure it's all good. Um, so you can actually use this with different rig models. Um, again, it's kind of hit or miss. It it works perfectly with uh, Vroid models for whatever reason, um, which is nice. Um, but some other models, it's hit or miss. You kind of have to messing around with it um, so you can kind of change um, so if like the model was like rigged like that for whatever reason but it's in a t-pose so we can do that go ahead and click next and then right over here it says please specify head so basically we just got to click one of the bones on the head um, and then it kind of saw all the rest of them um, it doesn't see the right arm so we got to click the right arm of that model left arm same thing right leg all right left leg all right so now it's good so we can go ahead and Click next over here. And then basically it just makes you uh, choose different poses to make sure it looks like it's synced up. Um, it does, I did notice it doesn't look like the hands um, do sync up properly uh, with this method. 
Um, so I don't know if that's something I can fix because I don't think it's completely amazing. Um, and so this is why you definitely want to go through all these step process because um, what this allows you to do is to make your own custom Vroid avatars and then move them into Clip Studio Pro or Clip, Clip Studio Paint where you can actually download 3D poses uh, for your comics. Um, it makes it very cool um, and very easy um, to get a lot of hard poses and um, draw your characters from different angles. Because um, that's what I noticed when I was drawing comics um, and web comics. It was I was good at art in some angles, um, but just drawing the same character over and over again at different angles, I wasn't very good at it. Um, and I kind of just thought um, of you know if you use a 3d model it's going to look pretty much the same um however you draw it excuse me um so we're going to go ahead and save and register as new material so then we can just make a new folder um i don't think you can actually in this again i'm kind of new um to modeler uh, i haven't really used it as much yet um hopefully we'll do more in the past in the future i think you can add folder and actually clip studio paint uh, so we're just going to put it in this uh dr models that's what all my custom models are and we're just going to call it youtube test avatar um and then press okay and then if you already had clip studio paint open while you're doing this you're gonna have to reopen it um because it's it doesn't really update dynamically like it should um, but oh well, um, you, you can go ahead and save this if you ever want to change anything like that. Um, but for now, I'm just going to close out of and discharge saving. Same thing with Blender. Um, that was quite loud. Um, I would say if, if it's a character you're going to keep coming back and working on, I would say save a project file for it. Um, but I don't need to. Um, so now we have Clip Studio. We're going to open up Paint. File new, sure. Um, then if you go over here to all your 3D download stuff, uh, if you haven't used any of this stuff, I would highly recommend taking a look at it. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do. Um, you, even if just like basic characters, you can just drag them like a 3D model here. Um, and they, it usually comes with, uh, I think, a lot of downloaded poses um, for free. Um, I don't know why they aren't showing up here. Um, but I have a lot of downloaded ones as well. Um, so you kind of just drag and drop it. Um, and it kind of helps you with anatomy and that's kind of how I learned it and then I was able to do it um, but we're gonna take it one step further to, today um, so we'll go ahead and get rid of this um, so we're gonna go back to our DR models because that's where we saved our YouTube test avatar so now when we drag and drop it to here we have our character and you'll notice his arms are down so that means the rigging worked um, so now if we go to our download poses if we drag and drop the poses onto him he makes the poses as well um, you are going to have to mess around with them because look, at his hands are a little not where they should be. <laughs> um, a little something like that, and then you probably have to change your wrist. Um, yeah. Another thing I did notice is that the shoulders kind of slouch a lot more than I like. Um, so I think every time I have to pose it, um, I kind of have to change it differently. Um, so we got him in a different pose. You can zoom in the camera angles. And honestly, you could just use this if you wanted to. If you made the avatar good enough um, in Modeler um, or in Blender, you could probably just use this if you really wanted to. Um, I like to draw over it. I have a uh, Cintiq 16. Um, might do a review on it. Uh, probably the one of the best investments I've ever made. It was, ever made. It was quite expensive, um, but I do like it a lot. Um, so I kind of trace over it, um, just get what I like. Uh, the ears are crazy huge by default f on Vroid for whatever reason. Um, and I actually use this um, pretty much almost exact same outfit, this basic school boy outfit, I guess you could call it, uh, for one of my comics in this, for the short story contest in Webtoon. Um, if you're not very good at art, uh, again, because this is going to be a series on how to make comics if you're not that great at art. Um, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna go to a new layer um, and what you could do is I would just recommend just using a line tool um, so you, I would get the curve line tool um, just turn it black uh, make sure that's above um, usually when I do my line art I kind of like to make it 
see through a little bit. Um, pretty much you could just do this. That's how I did it for a while when I first got started into digital art um, is I would kind of do a rough sketch and then I, I knew I sucked at inking. Um, so I just did this where I was just kind of do line art like that and you can kind of just keep going. So I don't want the chin to be like that. And you really don't have to be that good art to do this. It's pretty, pretty simple. It's pretty, you know, it's just pointing and clicking. Um, so you don't really have to be at a certain level that you want to be at. Um, and you can draw a lot of different characters from a lot of different poses. Um, so that's going to be the end of this video. I uh, hope you found it helpful. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns in the comments down below. And make sure to uh, click that subscribe button. Uh, I'll be like making a lot more videos like this uh, in the future. Um, don't really know what I, else I want to do on this channel. Um, probably a couple animations, motion, comics, other videos, uh, other tutorial videos, stuff like that. Um, so make sure to stay posted. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. Uh, hope you had. I hope you learned anything. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know.